Hey guys, it's Elvis here at the Nerds Finals with another Dark Profile, and this time we're here with apparently one of your guys' favorite people on this channel. I'm a favorite now? I used to be like the most hated. Yeah, you used to be the most hated, but now oh, people, actually kind of, people actually liked you after the wind-up profile. But anyway, so what do you have for us today? Uh, Sub-Terror. The okay. best deck that will be. Okay, so why are we profiling this? Because I fucking love this deck. This deck is tight. I love it. And plus, since some people want to know how to play their TCG exclusives now, here's at least a starting point for how you can go. This is highly based off of shit I've seen online. Not a lot of this is uh, my my own thoughts. Some of it is. I have like three little thoughts in here. But everything else I stole from other people. But it's a collection of thoughts. Yes. Alright, so let's go ahead it's and get started. very cloggy, too. Like This deck's not competitive. So, um, so you have the best card, Subterra Nemesis Warrior. Like, this guy is insane. Like, he does so much for the deck. He gets you guys from the deck. He steps himself to get guys from the deck. Like, this card's gonna go to one when this deck's good. Get those Euro Prince Supers now. I am. So then, then, three Stalagmo. The, uh, D-Draw. Because he... If I would cut any, I would cut him down to two. Yeah, I've seen like some like mm -hmm. some lists that apparently top some event. Yep, like I like, think you put only uh, two of one of them. The build that topped the LLDS, I think it was. The one yeah. with the cool mat. Uh, it only played two and two. Which I could see. I don't agree. Because I I don't know. I like playing sub terror, so I'm gonna play sub terror. But I know that's really bad logic, but I'm not I mean it's like the dynamist like the dynamist list from Mexico. Dude, that dynamist list though. That's beside the point. It's just like, hey, it's having Dynamis. Yeah. I'm calling this a Dynamis deck. It's yeah. all Performa Pals. But, um, I like the ratio. It's like, like, if you're gonna play, uh, three Stalagma, you have to play three of this so that you have consistently have food for him. But, yeah. But, uh, he, they're both really good. The okay. fact that he's level 10, 10, 10, 9, something like that, doesn't matter, uh, is actually kind of sucks. But right. That's what I like. And then three of Yo Main, the main bitch, the Terra Tray. She's absolutely insane. Like her just being able to book a uh, book a moon on your opponent's turn, or even book a Taiyu with like uh, Umastrix or uh, Pot of the Forbidden is actually insane. So, and plus the fact like there's a cool combo with uh, Pot of the Forbidden because she uh, Pot of the Forbidden hits the entire uh, which will summon of territory and a special summon off territory. So uh, that's why I play Pot of the Forbidden. Too. All right. So. Yeah, I know that's like been a combo ever since like yeah. Prediction Princess stuff came out. Yeah. This is a ratio that's still in progress. Uh, I still don't know what I want. I think this is what I like though, just because it, it's the Stratasys. Since he, since I'm playing uh, the Brilliant with Seraph Knight, it can work. So, plus how uh, important is it to grab the Flip Effect Monster? Um, sometimes it's usually just like grabbing uh, a guy to send for a Stalagmo. Or grabbing the pot of forbidden to do the play with Terra Trick. Okay. But for the most part, it's just grabbing food. It's never really relevant. So, alright, here, this is like one of my ideas. Playing two Tekken's homeboy. Whoa! Okay, so why double? Because most people only go 3 1. Or yeah. they might tech some other I know people uh, only go 3 1, but uh, Terra Top and Tekken's homeboy have. Um, Things to do in the deck other than make Dante, or in this case, uh, Invoker, which is my Dante. But, uh, mainly because your magic number is this is six for stars, and then plus him, it's ten. So with his effects, you can get to life, which is tight. Or uh, just him and one is uh, Umatrix, which is also cool. So, just, he does other stuff aside from doing the one rank three point. So, and then there's the argument of I can just emerald it back, which is, is fair. I make a lot of rank fours in the deck, so that's perfectly a fair comment. But I just feel like it's good. Plus, like, if I top deck this, if like, I'm top decking, because I definitely lose to right kicking in this deck. So if I'm top decking, I can, like, do that, get that, and go for uh, uh, Invoker if I haven't yet. Or Grand Pulse, or Break Sword, or something cool like that. Right. So that that is my logic with this. Maybe it's wrong. I don't know. I think it's good so far. I mean, it's Phantom Knight logic, mm -hmm. so and not PK Fire logic, Phantom Knight logic. No. And this is uh, the Brick, Brick, Brick Clown, uh, two Gem Knights. Okay, so I'm not gonna disregard the fact that this is Tourmaline. 
I'm not paying $5 for cards. Fair enough. Yeah, any, oh, yeah, uh, I'm playing two Gemini's. Because uh, you can, this is something I stole from Doug Z. Uh, because Pot of the Forbidden, wherever he is, he can giant tree name your brilliance, so then you can use it again. Oh. Or use, just using it twice is... So are you playing the double Seraphonite then? Or? No. I'm playing uh, two different targets. Oh, okay. So you play two targets still overall yeah. for brilliant. Oh, okay. yes, definitely. Uh, and then for this, here, I'm just going to lay these out. Alright, these are the best cards in the deck. And then these are the best cards in the deck, ever. So, Pin Shitty is insane because it can book of tie your guys, and then it searches, so that's cool. This card makes your plays, like if you open this with any hand, it's probably a good hand. It's, and then this especially because uh, territory is so needed just to do yeah. anything with this deck. Yeah, so. Pre prep is like, why did they make it? Like, even the fact that it's dead half the time, it's worth it just because this card is insane. Like, God damn. And then, you have to play that. Yep. To make territory. And then that, and then this. Okay, um, I was actually going to ask you if you're playing a terraforming or not. Uh, yeah, um, I like the terraforming. I want this to actually be Ritual Sanctuary. That's another thing that I'm going to steal from Doug Seed, Just because this is a light fairy ritual monster. Oh, that is dirty. And you play a bunch of spell cards. A lot of them can be dead, like pre-prep, uh, brilliance, etc. It's all cool. Fair enough. And then Vanity because it's the best card right now. Yeah, best trap. Yep. Right. Let's read through this extra real fast. Just gonna put these down. Shout out to Vic Mignana for signing that kill deal. Vic Marinara. And so these are my two gemmates. Okay, Seraphonite makes sense, explain Zirconia. Okay, so Zirconia, I don't like him very much, but that's another thing I stole from Thug Seed. So uh, you go Tourmaline and Stalagma. And then he can be almost the entire thing for Terra Trey. And then him and Nemesis Warrior. Yes. can get you any sub-terror. And then another really cool play, which I'm not going to take credit for. I stole it from Doug Zeef. Um, like I said, this is a collection of thoughts. Yep. So you go these two guys, and then activate him to flip him down. And then you can flip him up by his own means, or... Uh, I think Hidden City can flip him. I don't think it has to be sub-terror specific. I don't remember. And then you just have a massive meter. And then he gets a stack, so... Plus, cool. as a note that's really cool about Zirconia, since it's a vanilla, they can not fog blade it. Yeah, that actually matters, kind of. Yeah. And then Seraph Knight is insane. Yeah, Seraph Knight. The arguably, if you're not playing this in a rogue deck, you are not going to win. Arguably. Seraph Knight. And then uh, Invoker and Grand Pulse. This should be a Break Sword, but I don't know on a Break Sword, so forget me. Right. And then this guy's insane. So, yeah. And the rest is just garbage stuff. Uh, cowboy... Dweller, Emerald, he's the most important rank for. Uh, Diamond Dire Wolf, Castell, Photon Papal Operative. Oh, because you can do tricks like how Windup used to do it. Yep. And then Utopia Package. And then Gustav Max and Super Dora. Because Stalagmo's a 10. But uh, Emerald is definitely the most important. Because you can shuffle back uh, Gem Knights if you draw it. Because I draw it a lot. You can also special summon it, but that's never fucking relevant. Never. But the play does exist if it somehow comes yeah. up. Yeah. Like, for some reason, they leave an open board and <coughs> they're at, like, 3k. Then you can just attack with two monsters, you can use make emerald, but hey, who's who's counting? So, and then, it can also shuffle back uh, these guys, which matters for Nemesis Warrior. So, yeah. Right. It's cool. Any final comments? This deck's awesome. It'll be good one day. Eventually. Alright, thank you.